Good morning and happy Wednesday. Welcome to another edition of Wednesday Midday Death Stretch with me, Andy, the health and fitness specialist here in Bedford. We're going to get right into it. We're going to be working at getting uh, some of those joints and areas loose that can become stiff throughout the week from sitting at our desk and meetings and what have you. Uh, before we do get started, I just wanted to mention that August, um, we are rolling out a member engagement program called Passport to Wellness. Um, it's a pretty cool thing that, you know, participation can get you some prizes at the end of the month. It's a good way to keep yourself accountable. Uh, we've had quite a few signups already, but the more the merrier, the more competitive it becomes, the more people join. Um, so if that's something that you're interested in, you can still sign up. Just reach out to fitness at minder.com org, uh, come down to one of the fitness centers or reach out to either of us that work here. We'd be happy to get you signed up. But with that, let's get right into it. We're going to start standing or seated nice and tall in our chair and we're going to work the neck. So we're going to tuck our chin down towards our chest and we're going to roll our neck to one side. And switch directions going the other way. All right, then we're going to grab the opposite side and pull towards that arm side, holding this position for about 10 seconds each way. Hope everybody's having a nice week this far. And switch. All right, move down to the shoulders. We're going to pull one arm across, hold this position. And switch sides. All right, then we're going to throw an arm behind us, pulling down on the elbow to get a good stretch of the shoulder and the tricep as well. All right, and we're switching arms. All right, then we're gonna put our arms straight out in front of us. We're gonna pull back on our fingertips to get a good stretch of our inner forearm and wrist. And then we're gonna flip our palms down to stretch the top of our forearm here. And switch arms. Same thing, palm facing up. and flip the palm down. All right, and you can kind of move your fingers around. Just trying to loosen up the hands, probably one of the more stiff uh, areas if you're typing a lot. But next we're going to work on some shoulder retraction or some scapular retraction. So we're going to put our palms together in front of us, we're going to spread our arms, squeeze our shoulder blades at the back and bring our palms back together. And we'll do this five or six times. Make sure you squeeze at the back, hold that position for a moment and bring the palms back together. And one more. All right, moving on down. I'm gonna work on our back and our lower body here. So I am seated nice and tall in my chair. I've got my feet straight out in front of me, heels on the ground. I'm gonna hinge at the hip and I'm going to be reaching for my toes. I don't want my back to be all hunched over, my shoulders rolled forward, I'm trying to keep a pretty neutral spine to get that lower back a good stretch and as well as the hamstrings and even the calves kind of get involved here. All right, then we're gonna get back in our chair and I'm bringing one knee up to my chest. And from here, you can also kind of roll the ankle, just loosen that up. All 
and switch legs. All righty. Next, we're going to get into our lunge position. So if you're able to put the chair up against the wall, I recommend it. If you have a hard time with balance and the chair kind of throws you off, you can just do a regular lunge where you're just leaning into that front leg. But if you're going to do it on the chair, just use the seat of your chair as your anchor for your opposite foot. And then you lean into that front leg. Try to keep your upper half nice and tall. You feel a good stretch of your quad on this one. And switch. All right, then we're gonna turn our chair so the back is facing us. We're going to get about arm's length away, feet shoulder width apart. We're going to hinge at the hip, get our head through our shoulders here, get a good stretch of our upper back and shoulders. Remember to breathe in this position. All right. And we can keep the chair right there because we're going to throw one leg behind. Hold and pull for a good stretch of the quad. And switch. Now we won't need the chair for this one, but we're going to get into a split stance. Again, we're going to hinge at the hip, trying to keep our back nice and straight as we come straight down the middle. You should feel a good stretch of your hips and your lower back for this one. And then we get the hamstrings more involved as we go over to one side. And over to the other side. All right, we'll bring the chair back in real quick. We're going to do some uh, hip openers. So we're going to bring our knee up towards our chest, open the hip, and back down. We'll do five for each leg. And switch legs. All right, then we're gonna finish it off with some calf raises. So we're just standing nice and tall and we're just getting up onto the balls of our feet and then back down, netting our calves at the top. Working on some ankle mobility. And we'll do a few more of these. All right, that is going to do it for our Wednesday midday desk stretch. Hope you feel a little bit more limber than you were at the start. Once again, my name is Andy, I'm the health, health and fitness specialist here in Bedford. If you have any questions regarding health and fitness, feel free to reach out to myself or Jenna here in Bedford or Jess and Sarah over at McLean. Any of us would be happy to help you. If the passport to wellness is something you uh, are interested in, again, feel free to reach out to any of us or email fitness at minor.org and we can get you signed up. Um, with that, I hope you have a rest, good rest of your week. Nice weekend. I will see you guys next week.